Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Would you be my done, 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 done. I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. It's the done, 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 done. I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. And I would like to welcome me back because I've been super busy with this past couple of weeks. I know we got a lot to talk about, like my life here, my work, my school. And let's start by how am I doing since I got here in Canada. I've been here in Canada for three weeks now and I must say uh, it's amazing so far. Like the weather's great, it's 13 degrees outside and uh, you should definitely wear a jacket when going out because you'll freeze if you don't. Well, I'm exaggerating but that's how it is. And it's the time of the year where the leaves fall off the trees and everything's so yellow and orange. One great thing about being here is you get a chance to meet people and different culture. And by far, I've met like tons of them. Like uh, we have Indians, Chinese, Koreans, lovely people. Yeah, I'm currently living with my aunt together with my uncle and cousin. They're super nice and accommodating and I'm super grateful to them. The neighborhood here is super nice. We're kind of like near to everything. Uh, we're near to the train, mall, library, community center, and everything. Like you can just walk instead of like riding a bus. Yeah. Now speaking of getting somewhere, that leads us to our second topic, which is my school. Yes, I'm currently studying here in Canada and I'm taking business administration in Ascenda School of Management downtown in Vancouver. I actually went there last week for orientation and I must say that it's a nice place. It's very cozy and it's not a big school but it's nice. I'm actually taking like three subjects and we're allowed to take three subjects and more but we're not allowed to take like uh, two below. Yeah, I'm taking marketing, academic writing, and uh, international business management. And I didn't pick that, the registrar did. And it's a good thing that he didn't pick accounting because I don't really like accounting. Yeah, since college. Uh, they will ask you if you want a two days or three days of lecture. I pick two days because I want to maximize my other free time for uh, work. So I'll be having like one subject on Thursday and uh, two subjects on Friday. And speaking of work, one cool thing about being a student here in Canada is you can work as a part-time and we are only allowed to work for 20 hours max and if you exceed they will deport you or you go back to your country and we don't want that to happen so let's just follow the rules and obey them I recently got hired and pretty stoked because it was my first time applying here in Canada and I got the job. So it's like I, uh, it's kind of like a beginner's luck or something. And yeah, that leads us to our third topic, which is work. And I'm currently working in Starbucks. Uh, wait, I'll just go grab my apron. I'll be right back. So this is how I pretty much look like when I'm working. I got my apron on and my name tag. Yeah, as of for our 
um, dress or clothes we could wear anything but we have this thing called a uh, dress code so you have to stick with all the colors and patterns so to be safe I'm wearing like black white or this gray because we don't want them to like uh, ask us to go home and change or whatever so just follow the dress code so let's talk about uh, the things that had happened before I got the job I actually applied a uh, Starbucks here near our place but unfortunately they didn't hire me because I don't know they didn't so I didn't stop I keep on trying try and try until one day a manager invited me for an interview downtown in Vancouver and I'm telling you guys he is so cool he's so chill and yeah so Jason you're cool he invited me for an interview and uh, uh, all questions are pretty situational all customer base like uh, how would you deal to a angry customer or something how would you handle if uh, you gave a wrong order or something so they want to like see your personality they don't care about your experience at all they just want to see how joyous and uh, jolly you are so if you're having an interview just uh, be chill and be cool smile and I remember when uh, he's interviewing me and I was like all smile I, I was like uh, smiling all the time like it's a bit creepy but yeah you have to deal with it so I think I did a pretty good job because uh, I got hired on the spot and he told me that he wants me on his team and yeah he'll just call me to 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 give my first day or something like that so yeah I went home I told my mom what happened and it's funny because it's like 1 a.m. in my country and I called and they were like sleeping so mom I'm sorry yeah on my first day of work it's pretty fail because I was two hours early I pretty much heard like 8 when he called me but it's 10 <laughs> so I told him that I'll just go back 15 minutes before 10 so I went to another branch and sat there for like two hours and just observe because that's pretty much what i'm going to do when i'm working already so yeah i returned 15 minutes before 10 and yeah we did some paperwork we logged into their website and something like that now i'm currently on my training and uh, working in Starbucks has many perks uh, like 30 minutes before your shift during and 30 minutes after your shift you get a free drink and a drink and next we get to take home one pound of coffee every week or tea if you like tea and uh, yeah and 30 percent off on all their merchandise and stuff that's really cool all in all uh i'm having a great time working there in starbucks my manager and my fellow partners are so lovely and bubbly and i'm really delighted to be part of their team yeah 
So that's it for today guys. If I ever missed anything because I'm kind of like bombarded with all the informations right now. So bear with me, comment below on what I missed and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do if you want to know bits and pieces of my life here in Canada, please subscribe and ring that bell icon. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. This has been Louis or Lou. Peace.